For those of you that don't know, this is Alan Lee. And it's not L-E-E, -E, I thought it was. It's L-E-I-G-H, Alan Lee. And he has been studying, and I won't say too much because he, he wants to share with you later on. Uh, but Denise was instrumental in, in uh, uh, giving him Bible studies. I mean, we prayed for him, and uh, he's come a long way. Uh, as a matter of fact, I asked him uh, what his uh, favorite song was, and he said, uh, Rejoice in the Lord always. So I, I asked Steve if you could help us. Uh, we'll, we'll sing together his favorite song, Rejoice in the Lord Always. And it tells us that even when it, at the worst times, what should we be doing? Rejoice. Rejoice. You want to lead that song for us? Rejoice in the Lord Always, and I want everyone singing. It's not in it's not in the hymnal. No. Always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice and again I say rejoice. Yes, and Alan was singing like he meant it. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. I'd like to share uh, a text with you. It's uh, Alan's favorite text. It's from the book of Job. And it's chapter uh, 33, verses 26 through 28. And it reads this way. And I'm reading for, from the uh, version that he chose, the clear word. It says, He will turn to God and worship Him. God will then favor Him, and He will sense God's presence and shout for joy because the Lord set things right again. He will testify to his fellow men and say, I have sinned. I have not done what is right. Yet God has been merciful to me and showed me how wrong I was. He did not give me what I deserved. He redeemed my soul. He kept me from going down to the pit and I'm alive to again enjoy life. Alan is alive again to enjoy life in Jesus Christ. And uh, it is a privilege and a pleasure for me to baptize him this morning. So Alan, because you have accepted Jesus Christ in your heart. And you have also accepted the fact that he is coming back and that he died for your sins as a minister of the gospel I now baptize you in the name of the Father the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen, Amen.